Why would you stay in Melbourne? Basically, with Melbourne, what's happened is they've lost a lot of people. And, right, so they've lost... Um, We've lost a massive a chunk of population just because of the COVID. Yeah, well, the net overseas migration, we've lost 73,000 people, right? And guess where most of them came from? Melbourne. Victoria, Victoria. yep. Victoria. Victoria. So Victoria has lost so many people, it's crazy. Well, look, mistake. You, yes. you, you've got to realise, you know, like we were in lockdown, anyone that we had jobs that, you know, weren't getting it, they could they could go into state, go quarantine for two weeks and boom, now they've got new fresh opportunities. Why would you stay in Melbourne? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone wants to move in state. So what's happened is Victoria are now net lose to migration where they were the biggest growing at the moment. Yes. Right? And they're all moving to Queensland, exactly. So when you look at it, um, they're moving. So the funny thing is Australia as a whole has lost a lot of migration into international migration as well. We've lost over 73,000 people. Great. Interesting, though, because we used to have a lot of migration, but now the borders are closed. We've got no migration. So what's going to happen is we've got a property boom. Once migration starts again, guess what's going to happen? It's going to go through the roof. That's right. And now the well, thing we've is... Got a, we've got a lot of expats coming back, like people that have, you know, moved abroad. They've got business. They've been over there. They've had this COVID thing, and now they're going, right, I want to go back to Australia. Someone's we're asking up- how will, they affect, will that affect property. I'll tell you how it's affect property. One is the Reserve Bank, right, they've said that they're not going to put up the rates until our job figures have a four in front of them. Our unemployment rates are 4%, right? Now... What's happening at the moment, which is interesting, you know, I'm into statistics. I know. Because because we're losing people to go overseas, it's actually making our job figures look better Mm. because locals now are taking those jobs and it looks like unemployment rate's going down, looks like the economy's Ah, growing. That's what's going on. It's not quite correct. It's just us taking their jobs. So what's happening is... Um, we don't want the RBA to put their rates up prematurely, so hopefully they get this, right? Right, Because these jobs are not the growing economy, it's growing new jobs, right? We're talking about old jobs being made vacant to existing and then locals filling the spot, right? Yep. So the current employment rates make the economy look a little bit better than what it is. But only yeah, slightly. Right. Interesting. But, That's fascinating. Yes. That's fascinating. However, how it's going to affect property is, one, even though we're losing people overseas, and even though that's happening, property prices are going up. So when we do have migration, it's just going to be another level of the boom. Correct. Right? And one prediction, which I'm not surprised about, right, is they're saying apartment sales are going to plummet over the next few years. No kidding. <laughs> right? Yes. But this is the funny deal, though. This is the interesting thing is. It's going to leave Australia undersupplied for apartments when immigration resumes. So interesting stuff, hey? Two things.